Capricorn, I'm about to do. God is trying to tell you something in reading because God is always trying to tell you something. It's called a daily because it's for whatever day that you might see. Keep in mind, if you see a card here, something feels something that I don't know to say. Go with your own intuition before mine. So, um, yeah, you're showing up as the giraffe, the visionary. So it makes me feel like um, you look at things from a higher perspective. I'm going to read the message or that's what you're currently doing. Like you make plans for the future and you execute your plans for the future. Even though I feel like it's people who tell you you shouldn't do it or they don't see it for you. But it's kind of like you don't have to see it for me. I see it all for myself. What song is that? Um, That's Top Down. That's Top Down by um, Carrie Flo. But that's not her verse. I don't know. But, um, yeah. That song might resonate with y'all. It might not. But I'm going to... Hold on. It says, rise above earthly matters. Glide through the... No, ma'am. It says, glide through life with grace. You are able to see the right path. Stand tall in your self-worth and love with a big heart. Y'all bear with me, because I know this angle is weird, but I didn't feel like sitting on the couch, and I just, I just felt like sitting right here. So. Five cards for Capricorn. Where are they? Why do they need spirit message? Their advice, the warnings for the near future, direct spirit message, please. You got Capricorn that jumped out, so I think it's ready. You got Capricorn as your sun, moon, Venus, Jupiter, or Mars sign in your chart. The devil came out. <laughs> when the card jumped, the devil was the card on top. Now, if you don't know, the devil is that major arcana for Capricorn. So, of course, that would show up as you. Why do you need a spirit message? You got the Ten of Swords, the Ten of Air. Advice is the Four of Air. Warning for the near future. You got the death card. Um, okay. Direct spirit message is the ace of wands. So you need a spirit message because either something has come to a painful ending, like a painful conclusion, or something will be in the near future because the warning is death. Um, your advice is the four of air. So for some of y'all, if it's love related or something is ending and there's nothing you can do about it. Because the four of swords is here as your advice. That's a card of no action. It's a card of rest. It's a card of meditation and healing. So if it's something that already ended that you still feel attached to. Because this devil here representing you, even though it's your card, it's kind of like you have some type of unhealthy or uncontrollable attachment to something that needs to end it could be different for different people for some of y'all it could be sex or being um controlled or led by um lust or things that feel good in the moment but you feel stupid for later or you have to pay for it in a negative way later um for some of you, it's talking about some addic addiction or a toxic habit needs to end. It's something you need to chill on. I'm going to clarify. Why is the devil here? Why are they in this devil energy? Temptation, lust, and not of earth. For some of y'all, you're a workaholic or you're overly critical of yourself if it's not what I said in the first place. The Nine of Pentacles does represent a hard worker, somebody who is self-sufficient and self, like they have a lot of discipline. So you could be a workaholic. It really makes sense for a Capricorn. Um, but for a lot of y'all, it's the first thing. Some of y'all, it's the second. Why is this four swords here? The hermit, 
Yeah, the four of swords and the hermit is telling you to take some time to yourself. It's talking about introspection, self-reflection. Um, yeah, it makes sense either way, whether it's work or some type of addiction. I'm not going to repeat that again, y'all. Coming towards y'all's death. Some type of major transformation, life-changing events. So why is death here? Got the moon reverse. So that represents something being exposed. Some sort of secret comes out that leads to some type of permanent ending. That could be related to illness with the moon reverse. So it could be a person around you or you finding out about some type of um illness or it could be talking about something getting exposed about a person around you or you that leads to a permanent ending is one or the other so your spirit message is the ace of wands hmm i just don't like this fish every time i see this card i don't like it i don't like the ace of wands on this deck like with her eating the heart, it makes me think eat your heart out every time I see it, but not in a good way. Like, I don't like it. Got the seven of wands. So it makes me feel like something is eating away at you and it's telling you to protect yourself from it. Because the seven of wands is all about protection. For a lot of y'all, especially if it's something related to lust or you overdoing something or overindulging for some of y'all could be talking about heart health at the bottom is the eight of wands the ace of wands and the seven of wands of course equals the eight of wands so hmm. okay judgment is here yeah it's talking about something needing to to end Judgment is, it can talk about resurrection or new beginnings, but I feel like with the seven of wands, it's really talking about cutting something out for good in order to see positive change. Something has to be deaded for good because even with the death card here, I think judgment comes after death. Because it's normally, the picture on the judgment card is normally people rising up from the dead or angels pretty much raising people up from the dead. So pretty much you're being spiritually guided to cut something out or take a break from something because it's like eating away at you spiritually or in a health type of way. Like... Yeah. I'm going to pull from the angels and ancestor deck. It's pretty much going to tell you the energy around you or the angels and ancestors that's around you currently, or it might just be advice. So I picked up the whole deck and the card that was still sitting there, like, I felt like I picked up the whole deck, but the card that was still sitting there is released the old in rest that's crazy like i swear on everything y'all either either way it don't make sense for me to have left that there i didn't y'all saw me shuffle saw me read but whatever this card says um release the old and rest and it even has like the crow which represents death it has the dead leaves from the autumn like, it's literally repeating what I just said. But yeah, if y'all have a um, question or something specific you want guidance about, it's going to come out of this Woonology deck.
It says work through your fears. New moon is Scorpio. Y'all have two Scorpio cards. You also have Pisces, Cancer here. Capricorn, Virgo, twice. Um, yeah. Am I done? No, I'm gonna read this autumn card. I'm gonna read what the book says. Even though it's pretty clear. This book really don't, it don't have any alphabet, alphabetical order, so that's why I'm looking crazy right now, trying to find order. That is so annoying. Okay. It says, Re release all of the pressure and expectations weighing you down. Shed it all so that you can recover before moving into a time of renewal. Autumn is when the trees are preparing for the long, cold winter and must let go of all the weight they are carrying. What, girl? Let go of all the weight they are carrying in order to continue to grow and pro prosper. Sometimes you too just have to surrender an aspect of yourself in order to continue to grow and prosper. The raven on the autumn cards, oh, it's a raven, not a crow, shows that there is an opportunity to heal at this time. No, this is literally about healing. The healing it brings is a shift that allows you to move into a more powerful psychic space where you can be more aware of your needs and desires and be better supported. You know what is heavy, what is holding you back. Is it a person, a situation, a dream? Like the trees letting go of the leaves and the fruit in the autumn, it's time to let it go. When you hold on, you try to control reality and that never works. When you let go, you make space for the new to enter your life. You are being guided by the angels and nature herself to release whatever is stopping you from moving forward and you can do this. When the autumn card appears in the future position of a spray or as the last card in a reading, it can also indicate that the coming autumn will usher in important energies with regards to your question or intentions. Um, yeah, Capricorn, that was long. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it. Got something from it. Thanks for watching. Peace.